Okay, now let's continue with the dictionary's data structure under Python. In order to create a dictionary, we have to store the values in the form of key value pairs. So when we take a dictionary as D, that dictionary elements will be enclosed between flower braces and each of the items will be stored in key value pairs. So when you take the key as A, its associated value can be stored with it. Now when you take another key as B, its associated value is stored. You take C, its value. So this A1 is a key value pair, B2 is a key value pair, and C3 is a key value pair. Now, uh, like in, um, um, as in lists and arrays, we don't have the index number here to be specified as list zero or A of one like this. In dictionaries, if you want to retrieve a number, if you, if you want to retrieve a value, you have to give the index as the key. So when you give D of A, you are trying to refer to that element associated with this A, right? So when you give D of A, you are trying to get retrieve the element value that is associated with this key. So we can otherwise understand about this as a, uh, this A as a index number, A as a key, right? So when we say D of A, we'll get the value one. If you take D of B, then you get the value two. And remember, dictionaries are immutable, means you, cannot, you, you can't modify the values uh, sorry, you can't modify the keys in a dictionary. It is partially mutable. Means you can't modify the val uh, keys in a dictionary, but you can modify the values in the dictionary. Right? Now let us go back to our anaconda and see how these dictionaries work. Now here we have created a dic uh, dictionary, executed, and that dictionary is saved in DICT object. Now, if you want to get only the key values, in that case, you can give dict.keys. When you are working with um, real-time data sets and when you want to apply some machine learning algorithms to it, you need to pre-process the data first. When you are pre-processing the data, you, should, you may want to get uh, their column names and the index uh, column names and the column values or the row names and the row values separately, right? Index numbers of the rows and the values separately. In such cases, you may have to divide between these keys and values. You may have to retrieve them separately. In such cases, they, these functions will be useful to you. Dict dot keys. Dict dot keys will help you to extract only the keys of this dictionary. What are the keys in this dictionary? A, B, and C. So these keys will be retrieved, but you can see how they are rendered. They are rendered as dictionary underscore keys, and they are taken as a tuple of the list. Okay, it is being enclosed between circular brackets within which the list is list of keys is being displayed. Now, if you want to display them in the form of a list. Sometimes you can't work with this kind of object, right? You can't work with this kind of uh, uh, interpretation. You may want the keys in the form of a list. In such cases, you can give list of dict dot keys. When you display that, you can get those keys in the form of a list. Now you can use them to plot a graph or you can use them for further operations with other lists, right? So these are simple conversions between the data structures. If you have a dictionary item, if you have dictionary items, you can convert it into list items. If you have list items, you can convert it into set items. If you have uh, dictionary keys and values, you can convert it into tuples of keys and values. Different kinds of conversions will be useful at, in different scenarios when we are working with our machine learning problems. Now you can see here, it is converted to list and saved in a list. 
instead of directly giving the type conversion if you want to save it into a list that you can do but when you are using a list later means when you wanted to um, say store the values into a list at later part not directly assign the list of values in such cases you have to reserve a space for this list a list variable mentioning that it is of list type for that this declaration is required though you need not have to declare any variables or objects in python this kind of pre reservation is required in case in case of lists and dictionaries when you are trying to use a dictionary within your script in that cases you may have to assign dictionary uh, say you are going to use a dictionary bi then you might have to reserve a space like this you are mentioning that di would be a dictionary data structure so that whatever elements we assign to it will be taken as key value pairs otherwise it wouldn't accept the values right for that we use this kind of pre reservation now you are saving the list items uh, sorry dictionary keys as list items into list file so when you execute this and print li5 you can see that the list items are stored and printed from this list file now if you print the actual dictionary values and are interested only in the values of the dictionary you are not interested in the keys sometimes you may have to perform some operations only on the values of the um, uh, dictionary items in such cases you can retrieve the values only the values by using dictionary dot values now that dictionary dot values is converted into a list and stored in list 6 now let's see what would be the output you can see the output as the values that are retrieved 1 2 and 3 the values associated with the keys they are retrieved from the dictionary converted into a list and saved into list 6 and finally printed now if you want to retrieve both the key value pairs in the form of tuples then you can give dictionary dot items sometimes you may want to go through the key values in a loop as well as the values also in a loop the key and the value should be taken as iterators to go through the values in such cases you may have to retrieve both of them but not in the form of key value pairs but as tuple values in such cases you can give dictionary dot items now when you um, uh, print this you can get the values in the form of tuples there are three tuples here when i say tuples they are pairs of values enclosed in circular brackets now uh, when you see the dictionary items you can see a1 b2 and c3 taken as three tuples now still if you want it to be saved into a list you can do that by giving the conversion conversion function list so these will be converted into list of tuples here because the tuples are enclosed in list we call it as list of tuples now if you want to retrieve if you want to traverse between the keys as well as the values in such cases you can give a loop here for ij in dictionary dot items what are the dictionary items a1 b2 and c3 now when i give for ij in dictionary dot items i refers to the key values and j refers to the values associated with those keys right now you are um, getting those elements from the dictionary and appending it to a list you are appending only the key values to that list did you notice here though we are traversing with i through the keys and j through the values you are trying to append only i that is the key values to the list so when you print this you can get only the key values but if you want to print both the values you can just enclose this into another set of brackets 
remember append method of a list will help to add elements to the list and that accepts only one argument you should give only one element if i give i yes it is correct it accepts the values to append to the existing list but if you want to supply pair of values like i and j then you have to enclose that within brackets and pass it as a single element as a pair of elements right in such cases i and j can be jointly appended to the existing list so the first tuple that is added is a1 then the next key value pair that is added as a tuple b2 and c3 this is how we can uh, traverse through the elements of the dictionary with respect to keys with respect to values or with respect to both keys and values now if you display dictionary of a the value associated with a can be printed the value associated with a is 1 so that value is printed now if you want to modify the value associated with a key you can give the expression like this this is a shorthand expression means dictionary of a equal to dictionary of a plus 1 means you are taking the value associated with a key a and incrementing it with 1 so you get uh, the value associated with a now to be updated as 2 when you display uh, when you execute this and display dictionary of a initially dictionary of a will give us 1 but now you have incremented it the value in a is incremented so you get the value as now when you display the dictionary you can see the modified value associated with the key a what happened here the original value has been modified in the dictionary so the keys in a dictionary are immutable can't be updated but the values in the dictionaries are mutable you can update them you can modify them now if you want to check whether a key exists in a dictionary you can use the clause called as in why in dictionary when you execute this why in dictionary does it exist false because why is not a key in this dictionary but when you check with a in dictionary a exists in the dictionary as a key so it gives us the boolean value true now this we have seen already this command to convert the dictionary items into a list and if you want to print them if you want to print the dictionary items as tuple of values you can just print i j not as a tuple but individual values will be printed for i and j in dictionary items i refers to keys and j refers to values print key and the value they are printed as normal values here did you notice they are not enclosed within a data structure like list or tuple or dictionary they are just printed individually now you can perform lots of operations on this dictionary items because you are able to retrieve them in whatever way you want in the next video we'll see on control uh, conditional statements and looping structures in python